Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to discuss the largest objects in our universe. We're going to talk about the largest uh, asteroid, the largest planet, the largest star, and so on and so forth. And you're going to possibly learn something new using video games. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And for this particular video, I'm going to use both Universe Sandbox Square and also Space Engine because they kind of complement each other really well. This game does uh, smaller objects really well and Space Engine does really large objects really well. And let's actually start with the first object, which is the largest asteroid that I'm kind of looking at right now. Now, technically, this is also defined as a dwarf planet now, but Ceres is still technically the largest asteroid because it's an object that is very, very massive orbiting in the asteroid belt. Um, depending on how you define these objects, though, if you define this as a dwarf planet, then the largest asteroid becomes its slightly smaller friend, Vesta, which is right here. Now, this is not what Vesta looks like. I'm going to show it to you in Space Engine when we uh, move to that game. Uh, but basically, these two are the largest we have in our solar system, but definitely not in the universe. It's very, very likely that somewhere out there, there's a much, much, much larger asteroid that we still haven't discovered yet. But uh, let's just compare them to uh, the size of Earth. And here they are. They're going to be orbiting around pl our planet and very likely actually collide with it. But they are Ceres, there is Vesta. I have a feeling they're going to actually turn into rings around our planet because uh, they are within the Roche limit. Anyway, moving on. So what about the largest planet? Well, that's our Earth right there. The largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter, that's in a distance, but that is far from the largest um, in our galaxy that we've discovered so far, and definitely not the largest in the universe. As a matter of fact, to find the largest uh, planet, we have to go about 320 light years away from our planet Earth into the region known as K.R. Moscae. And uh, somewhere out there, somewhere far, far away, there is actually a planet that is approximately this big. And so here is the planet known as K.R. Moscae, uh, also known as HD 10446b. And I'm going to place our planet Earth in comparison to this object. There is our planet Earth. This is how small it is, and obviously, if I were to place Ceres, it would be even smaller. Uh, just to give you a comparison with our biggest planet, which is, of course, Jupiter. Let's place Jupiter. It's kind of this big, so not as uh, not as big, but obviously not as dramatically small um, as Earth is compared to Jupiter. So that is the biggest planet we've discovered so far, and this is about 320 light years away from us. All right, so how about the biggest star? Well, uh, the new contender for the biggest star is the star known as UY Skotai, which is actually right here. Now, I'm going to place it uh, somewhere farther away from these objects because it's going to burn them to crisps. So let's actually zoom out, and there is that giant humongous star. Maybe a little bit closer. Let's place it right here. Now, this is a tremendously large object. It is absolutely huge. I'm actually going to place sun around this um, star just to give you a comparison of how humongous this uh, object is. And there is our sun in comparison to UY Skutai. And let's place Earth in orbit around the sun just so you can kind of get an idea of how absolutely huge and how absolutely scary UI Skutai actually is. I can also go into charts here just to give you an idea of how tiny all of this actually is. So we're going to actually zoom in here and there is that little pixel known as the sun. And as I zoom in, you'll see the other objects as well. So that's the sun and there is the Jupiter uh, this is the uh, HD 10446b, which is relatively comparable to our sun. Jupiter is right here, and the thingy that you see burning, that's one of the Earths. And there's the other Earth right there. So that's, uh, that's basically the size comparison to the largest star we've discovered so far. It's approximately um, 9,500 light years away from us. It's really, really far from us. Um, and this particular star uh, is so large, as a matter of fact, that if we were to place it in our own solar system, which is uh, basically this, if I were to place it right here, it would basically engulf like everything up to Jupiter. It would actually swallow everything. That's how large this particular star is. And uh, the last object we're going to look at in Universe Number Square is the largest uh, black hole. 
And when it comes to the largest black hole, this gets a little bit more complicated. So this is Sagittarius A star, the biggest supermassive black hole in the center of our own galaxy. It's uh, approximately 8% of the distance of, of Earth from uh, the Sun in terms of radius, and it's about 40, uh, oh, sorry, 4.3 million masses of our Sun. But things do get a little bit bigger, actually a lot bigger. The most massive, um, ultra-massive black hole that we've discovered so far is about 10,000 times more massive than this. So that's, of course, four more zeros here. And it gets really, 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 really big. It says that it's 1.83 astronomical units here, but the reality is that it, um, the actual size of that black hole that we've discovered is even bigger than this. Its Schwarzschild radius, which is essentially the radius between the event horizon and the center of the black hole, is approximately 1600 astronomical units. That's something like 37 times farther away than uh, Pluto is from the Sun. In other words, this particular black hole is close to about 37 times bigger than our uh, solar system. Uh, or at least the uh, classical solar system, up to the Pluto, of course, and it is absolutely humongous. If I were to place Sagittarius A star next to it, this is what it would look like. It would be this tiny, tiny speck next to this humongous, absolutely scary-looking black hole. Now, let's actually place all the other objects next to it as well, so you get to see what they look like. So there's Ceres, uh, there's Earth, I've decided to skip the largest planet and skip directly to UIS Qtai, which was so far the biggest object uh, that we had, but in comparison to this super ultra massive black hole, it's super super tiny, that's the size of it, you can barely see it. If I go in the, under charts here, you'll notice that this black hole takes up a huge chunk of the screen here, with the second contender being um, UI's q tie and Sagittarius A star being right there. Uh, so essentially this is the black hole, this is the largest black hole we've discovered so far, and it's approximately... 12 billion light years away from us, so it's actually really, really far away, and it's considered to be a quasar type of a galaxy, meaning that this black hole produces a lot of highly um, radioactive and highly energized particles or particle jets that are basically being thrown directly at us. So this is the black hole, and now let's go into Space Engine and discover the other objects as well. And now that we're in Space Engine, we're going to take a look at some of the other biggest objects out there. But first, let's actually start with the object that wasn't really well represented in Universe Sandbox. So this right here is uh, Vesta. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And essentially, it's a kind of a longish uh, asteroid that has a very unusual shape. And this is also known as Vesta 4 because it was the fourth asteroid discovered in our solar system. Now, let's actually take a look at this uh, planet we saw before as well known as HD 100546b, uh, and this is actually one of the more beautiful planets you'll find in uh, Space Engine. It's an absolutely gorgeous gas giant that has these really, really, really beautiful rings, and it is absolutely tremendously beautiful. So I'm going to approach these rings just so you can get, get to see what they look like close by, but uh, this is definitely one of the more beautiful planets I've seen in a while. And so this is, of course, the biggest planet we've found uh, to date, or exoplanet we've found to date. And uh, that's the star that it orbits around somewhere right there in a the distance. All right, so now let's take a look at the largest uh, nebula that we currently know of. Uh, this is a nebula in the nearby galaxy known as Large Magellanic Cloud. Now, now unfortunately, in Space Engine, it hasn't actually been added to the um, to the uh, catalog yet, but it's easy to spot. So if you find Magellanic Cloud, which is actually right here, uh, our own galaxy is right behind it. That's our own galaxy right there. Uh, just basically go toward it, and this big spot right here, this big blob, is essentially it. It's kind of very easy to see, um, and it's also famous for having one of the most, if not the most massive stars we've found so far, known as R136A1. It's basically right in the middle of this uh, so-called uh, Tarantula Nebula, which is basically the largest nebula we currently have. Now, I'm going to zoom into R136A1 just so you get to see what it actually looks like. This particular star has a mass of about 265 masses of our own sun, and the actual uh, size of this particular star is also very, very tremendous. You're going to see the star in a few seconds as soon as we zoom into it. Uh, so this is a star that is just absolutely humongous. 
or not humongous, but at least very, very massive. It's definitely not as big as UI Skutai, but it is uh, very, very, very massive. And this is a so-called Wolf Riot star, meaning that it's a very unstable um, category of stars that will probably go supernova relatively soon. So this was the largest uh, nebula, also known as Tarantula Nebula, and now we're going to go to the largest galaxy known to us, and this is a galaxy by the name of IC1101. And it's kind of uh, easy to find because it's been added a long time ago to the uh, space engine. And just to kind of give you a comparison here, so uh, this is several times bigger or about 60 times bigger uh, than our own Milky Way. And you can see how big this is because other galaxies are basically dwarfed by the size of this humongous um, elliptical galaxy. So this is essentially IC1101. And I've talked about this galaxy previously. You can definitely check out one of the previous videos that mentioned this uh, largest galaxy in our universe that we've discovered so far. Now we're going to return back to our Milky Way because we're now we're going to talk about some of the less known concepts and specifically here we're talking about superclusters. Now I've talked about Lenya K supercluster which is basically the biggest object that we're part of. It's a it's a very very large supercluster that's kind of difficult to define here but it basically includes a lot of this stuff. It's about um, 100... Uh, thousand galaxies collected all together and in terms of size it's about 160 million parsecs so it's uh, basically several hundred million uh, light years in size so it's basically all of this all of this is known as the Nikea supercluster and we're part of it but it's not the biggest supercluster and it's kind of almost impossible for me to show you the biggest supercluster using space engine but I can give you an idea of how big it is and the biggest supercluster is known as EH96632. Unfortunately, it's obviously not in the database here. Uh, none of the superclusters actually are in the database in Space Engine. But in terms of size, it is approximately twice bigger than the Lanky supercluster, meaning that it's about 1 billion light years in, um, in radius here. So we're going to go away from... Um, from this region. And so this is about the size where um, EH96632 would be. So it's a very, very large structure. And basically superclusters are defined as collection of galaxies sort of moving in a relatively similar fashion or direction. So they're kind of gravitationally connected to one another. But that of course doesn't define the biggest structure in our universe, uh, which uh, is something something actually very unusual. It's something known as Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Now this is um, basically a structure that is about 10 billion light years in size. Now, let me show you how big this is. So this was the supercluster. There's our galaxy right there. Now I'm going to move away from here for about 10 billion light years. And you're going to see how big this um, so-called Great Wall is. And this is essentially, um, it's defined as a collection of superclusters, all of them uh, gravitationally connected to one another and all of them sort of moving in a relatively similar fashion. And it's about 10 billion um, light years in size. And so we're going to find out how big it is very, very, very soon. So this is still not quite there yet. We're getting there in a few seconds, but this is essentially how big the largest structure is we found so far. And it's kind of more vague in terms of definition um, because this is a collection of many different structures together, but it is what uh, scientists today define as one of the largest, if not the largest structures in our universe. But obviously not as cool as some of the other structures I showed you, like, for example, the biggest black hole. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. And if you actually enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and possibly support this channel on Patreon because it does help me purchase better equipment to make better videos. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll talk about something else and I'll teach you something else using video games. Give me later. And as always, bye bye. And now we're going to return to our galaxy first. And let's actually go back home to Earth as well. And there we go. This is our home planet Earth. Not the largest object in the universe, not the largest planet out there, but definitely the most Earth-like and the most habitable for our own species. So don't forget to take care of it, you know, because who else would? I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.